Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy, and welcome back to my shiny new armor. So here we are in High Town, as per usual. We do live here in case you have been having trouble keeping up. And as you can see, I'm in new armor. This is the Stone Hammer set. Stone Hammer gauntlets, Stone Hammer plates, Stone Hammer boots, Stone Hammer helmet, and uh, yeah, wow. I mean, so the plume is weird. Like I, I sort of wish it was like further because having like a woo, like a long thing, would be really cool. Uh, instead, it's a bit, it's a bit chickeny. But aside from that, I think this thing looks absolutely badass. Plus, it's not emblazoned with the Grey Warden thing. The Grey Warden armor was awesome, but the fact that it was Grey Warden armor made me feel like I was on brand for Grey Warden, which I had enough of in Dragon Age Origins, thank you very much. Now, uh, yeah, so the benefits of this armor, I think it's, it's more of a side upgrade, I have to say. I have a bunch more health uh, and a lot less armor. Um, but like just overall, with the set bonus, the fact that it was a unique piece, I, I did the math at the time. Uh, I'm definitely not taking a hit from this sort of thing, but I am going to have to be a bit more careful with my health and that sort of thing. So, um, I uh, just noticed all my no modes being on. Which which modes are actually meant to be fucking on? These are fucking... <laughs> just swearing for no reason. Sorry, one second. Bravery, Might and Berserk. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, not that. Not that. Although I'm wondering about Berserk at the moment, just because it's, uh... Ugh. Yeah. It's, um... It drains stamina a lot with it with every hit. I'm, I'm gonna need to work on that. So what are we gonna do today? I will admit it's been a little while since I played. Uh, one of the reasons for that is that I had to uh, spend a lot of time editing the last session because it was the hundred episode um, thing. And you know, I thought about just having the hundredth episode and just saying thanks for watching, but I thought no, that's that's a weak man's answer. So I, I made that wee video thing, uh, which was a lot of fun doing. It's it's rare that I get a chance to sort of sink my teeth into a proper editing uh, project like that, even if it is a couple, just a couple minutes video, it was still a lot of work and I, I really like doing that. Um, so it has been a little while to the extent that I uh, may have forgotten the finer details of the last session. I remember that my plan for the session was to do some more of the nighttime stuff and uh, go out to Sundermount to speak to the Dalish about that elven assassin and that is indeed the plan today, but I am not in a hurry. Honestly, I don't have a set plan or anything like that. Um, we're going to start working on the companion quests uh, if we find ourselves time after this uh, Murder of Crows thing. And uh, honestly, I think it, I'm thinking Mark of the Assassin quite soon as like an option to do for a mission because I'm not really feeling like starting on the last on the last straw at the moment, especially since I heard that Act Three is a little bit shorter than some of the other acts. Uh, I don't know how many acts this game has. It, it feels like things are coming to a head because the Mage and Templar conflict feels pretty central to this game. And so I got to wonder, like, if we're dealing with this in this act, that's going to be a major thing, surely. And how much else is to deal with after that? <sighs> Anywho, so yeah, as I say, I don't really want to get started on that. So I might do Mark the Assassin sooner rather than later. But no promises, certainly. Anywho, as I say, I wanted to get warmed up by... Um, let me nip into my estate just for a second. I want to get warmed up by doing the nighttime stuff, uh, so let's do that now. Ta da! Here I am at home. Here I am away from home. So, everybody's updating and things like that. I, I debated sort of removing the helmet from the interface, um, but something about it, like, like especially because he doesn't have any hair, something about having like the bare neck and, and helmet. Sort of makes all this armor seem superfluous. I'm like a space marine from Warhammer and stuff like that. No, you don't need helmets. It's fine. Who am I taking with me today? I think I'm going to take um, Anders, Aveline, and Sebastian. Just for the nighttime stuff. I honestly, I don't really remember what I did last night. I remember hearing some new conversation options with Anders. Uh, sorry, with Sebastian, but... Aside from that, yeah, yeah, as I say, been a little while. High town at night. And I expect at this point, you know, whoa, 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 hold on. I was busy taking a note. Um, yeah, some editing will be done, um, but I might as well not cut through this fight so as to, uh, so these are blood ragers. Ah, so we do have a mage. Make your way to him. Okay, so we stun and then we start thrash, thrash, thrash. I actually forget what my format was this for last time. I think I just have at him until it looks like he's about to come out of it. And then I silence him and then I start slicing. 
Uh, I do have Berserk Bolt, but yeah, that does strange stamina all over his business. And there we go. Thank you very much. The good thing about these fights, once the mage is down, things do get significantly simpler. You know, this is actually a pretty meaty team. Even Sebastian's got a little bit more health than um, Isabella or Varric does, I think. I think I used Varric a little bit in the last session, didn't I? God, I do not remember. What's happening and are we dying? Um, so Anders is drawing a little bit of attention over there. I might go in and... Uh, I gotta come off... I gotta come off and on Berserk as the situation warrants. I really do. Uh, so, there's them attacking Sebastian, and there's all those guys around there, which are just weaklings. Is that Aveline? It is. Oh yes, I forgot, I gave her Fade's Fury, that's why she's wearing a, she's wielding a sword now, as opposed to a shield. And what is this you've got on our armor? Is this fire? It is fire. It looks amazing, thank you, and it's lighting up our way. Anyway, let's just keep fighting, I think we're okay to keep fighting at the moment. Just defending, defending, and Aveline, I pretty much trust her not to die, honestly, like she's defensive enough that it's, whoa, 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 where did you come from? Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. Just as nice, that one's about to recharge as well, what a quinky dink. So that thing's, whoa. Aha, here we go. Blood will be our starvation in this new home. High town is ours, beginning in the lair. Know it and know you belong. The Bleeder. All oh, these bleeding mages and their bleeding blood magic. What they doing all bleeding all over the place, these bleeding bleeders. Bloody hell. <laughs> cool. Alright, so, uh, yeah, already we found our, a note to a hideout. So, where does map say it is? You know, Ian, if you weren't so lazy and did absolutely nothing over three years, then these gangs wouldn't have time to, like, settle in. Just deal with the gangs as they come up, and then you don't have to do this at the start of every act. Who's this? Oh, hell. So these can be difficult, you know? I have died to these sorts of- Whoa, 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 okay. Uh, who's he going for? Sebastian? We got a few archers over there. How the hell with it? When the melee guy's coming, I'm just gonna draw the threat. Come over here, please. And then... Bring him that this way. Start just having this be over here. Control the battlefield. And look at how we win. It's gotta be more of you. Ah, Sebastian's got it. Yeah. This is good for you, Sebastian. Get in with the little people of High Town. The little people of High Town. You know what I mean? Like the day to day citizen problems that this town has. Like bandits at night or corpse cleaning in the morning. <laughs> See, this is why criminals should always have stuff on them. Because if they don't have any stuff on them, their body just slides there and it's an inconvenience to everybody. But if they have stuff on them, I can loot them and then they disappear. It's just, it's like mutual gain. Plus, they get some spending money if they survive, which they never do. A suspicious house. See, again, the same suspicious house of last time. What have I been doing for three years? Alright, here we go. And we're probably doing the same sort of fighting, uh, and it's the same sort of environment too. Let's have a look-see, but I'm probably going to edit through this. Uh, Jixon the Bleeder, and since he is a mage, just draw it. And then... All mages are set, well, sunny. Uh, you're out of it already, though. That blood magic thing, I don't know if it stops. I am losing a fair bit of health, and I think it's from him, so maybe clear it. There we go. You just stone fist me. <laughs> no, Meryl's not here, I don't have that. Fighting in the doorway is always confusing. Well, there's too many enemies around. You know, just Sebastian and uh, Anders, if you could just back off a little bit. We're probably gonna mostly come from in here, but the hell with it. Aveline and uh, Ian, back off in here as well. Aha, I'm surrounded, perfect. I should get that upgraded, that, uh, that AOE. 
Oh, do you know what? There's, there's always a ton of stuff that I need. I wanted to spend some money getting like extra equipment tomes and stuff like that between sessions, but I'm, I'm kind of doing low on money and spending that bit of cash on the last of the Stonehammer set. Oh hell, okay, so Anders is down and Sebastian is down because I'm too busy talking. Leaving our two tanks. Are you being healed or something? Yep, I know. There he is. There's a Blood Rager up there. I think we've probably still got this. Okay, so, um... You're fine, so do your thing. Okay, now you're out of stun. No, 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 no! Shit! Did that happen to... no? Oh, did I trap her in nether space? <laughs> yeah, I did! <laughs> okay, better get into Berserk. Avalyn, you're okay, aren't you? Yeah, you, as I say, I can more or less just let you be you. I think even your tactics are set to, like, prioritize lower end enemies, and you're still problem stun you again. My silence isn't going to charge in time, but still. Hey, Avalyn! Okay, she's gonna teleport again, but where's she gonna go? Yep. Mages are lacking imagination these days. Maybe something broke down with the code. It's maybe the same reason that guys can't stop. Don't do that. That my companions keep moving around my home. That's stu- Whoa! The sun's recharging really quickly. You're tougher than your boss was. Congratulations, you should have been in charge. Red Run Street. So High Town becomes safe again. Excellent. And we get the loots and the spoils to prove it. Um, so in terms of enchantment and stuff like that, uh, my stone hammer thing has actually uh, got a fortune thing on it. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping to make up a little bit of coin that way. It's not much. It's like a 5% increase or something like that, having looked it up. But still... I need a bit more coin because I want those extra abilities. There's a, a ton of stuff I need right now. And it's like lower level stuff. It's like trying to branch into new trees. Unfortunately, it's just the way that I'm I'm interested in building. So yeah, it looks like we're done here. Red Run Streets. All finished up, just some stragglers left. And we'll do a quick sweep uh, to get the last of the stragglers and that'll be us. So yeah, let me just, um, we're at 15-ish minutes. There we go. Not taking again. Let's do a last sweep and see what we come up with. What's this? The Lancet Mansion. Another noble NPC for this uh for this act, I guess. Regardless, the streets of High Town are clear. Success, success numero uno, and it feels like there was less of those combats than there was in Act Two. So let's nip down. We'll do a low turn at night now. And, uh... Yeah. See if we can clear that in the same sweep. This would be good to get done, you know? It's a good warm-up session, especially since it's been a while since I have, like, commentated on anything. Well, considering... Compared with my new regime of, like, quick editing... Which I think is going really well, as I mentioned. Like, um... I don't feel like the episodes have really noticeably dropped in quality much at all. There's the occasional sound thing, which I hear and bugs me, but that's about it. Uh... Yeah. So yeah, it's been like a couple weeks. Out of practice, out of practice. Anywho, uh, I'm still editing, so... Samson. Things are heating up. It's a good time not to be a Templar. It's a good time to live in another city, quite frankly. Hmm. I can't seem to find anybody. Oh, Canary Sword, though. I'm thinking of starting to ask for money for that. I don't really know why I'm not. I don't really know why I would care what the Canary think at this point. Because that's why I'm not accepting money, like... Um, well, let me put it this way. If I was to buy a Kunari sword from a shop for three gold, which I have the option to do, 
I would like money in return for that sword. I would like the Kunari to reimburse me for the coin I spent, at the very least. Otherwise, I'm literally just paying to return their swords. And after what they did, I don't think they deserve it. Um, yeah, just a, a wee point there. What am I doing? Why am I in my inventory screen? Journal. <laughs> All right, side quest. Um, so, Low Town is fine been around here now and there's nobody there's nobody that I can see I don't think I'm missing anything any part of low town let's go to the docks instead who is here who did I fight here I'm sure I fought somebody here oh, okay docks then aha enemies still exist <laughs> Aha. Uh -huh. Direction to the reigning men base. No one takes back what is rightfully ours. It's amazing how much these uh, these seem to start similarly. We start in the docks, but there will be no rest until all the city is leashed in our hold from the leash master. <laughs> Not even the dog lords. They have no right to be, like, leashing or reigning anything. Unless they have a horse motif, which they clearly do not. So both Anders and Sebastian are injured. I should maybe go back and fix that. So that tower in the lake is the gallows then. So these are the docks. And the gallows are... A map of Kirkwall would be great because there's always kind of nebulous areas. Um, separated not by actual places but loading screens. But Sandals referred to the tower in the lake being scary. That looks like it could be the gallows. But... We know we can walk to the gallows. We have to get into the city using the gallows. But we also know this is in a river. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not worry about it. I'm sure it'll never come up. <laughs> Run down alley. Make me. Okay, whoa, I was stretching. But here we are. Thank you for your fiery assistance. Ah, there's the dude. He's a mage. Yeah, a mage in Crushing Prison, no less. You can't teleport away from Crushing Prison, unfortunately. When you're out of that, I know you're going to try and teleport away. Shit. Shit. Thank you, Lyric. Oh, I really... I really hate that you can only sometimes clear those shields. It's... It's a really obnoxious, like, oversight. It's the equivalent to playing, like, an RPG and uh, the GM is, like... <laughs> like, a player is just says, like, I, I stand with a sword. It's like, uh, no, 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 he dodges you. He dodges you. Like, you're fighting now. Uh, he, he fights you and he escapes on a dragon. <laughs> It's uh, it's bullshit, and Anders is dying, which is also bullshit of a different variety. Arrow to the arrow to the hip there, Anders. My apologies, or is that just an arrow where you're keeping in your satchel? <laughs> um, maybe heal yourself, dude. Oh shit. Okay, just heal, 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 heal. There you go. So you don't need to heal yet. You're fine. I'm still low on health pulses. I should maybe uh, avoid using that when I can. You know, this isn't so bad. Missing mage aside. Aha. So she might... Fuck. Fuck that shield. Fuck your fuck you, I'm invincible because of story shield. Or not even because of story, just sometimes. If there was a way to console command my cooldown for the uh, for the clear thing, like back... Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I would totally do it because it is bollocks. Um, all right, an accounting of everybody. Sebastian, I see you standing calmly in there. Do you want to take out your weapon, dude? Move. Yeah, thought Sebastian is. Whoa, he literally just exploded. That's. That's grizzly. Every time I look over her, she's fucking shielded. Got one. Get out of there. And fuck you. 
I did stun her. I did, but I'm in Berserk, so it, it, drew, it, it brought out stamina. Okay, that needs adjusting in my tactics. No, I do not think so. Okay. So uh, let me just let me just play with my tactics just recently. So self any berserk. Okay, change that to enemy. Um, uh, do you know it's maybe something better like me commanding on my own? In which case I've got might. I've got berserk. My health isn't doing too bad actually. I, I can probably stand to just be with that. So let's just disable that for the. M oh hell. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what I'll do. Health, stamina, mana, stamina level. If it's ever over 50%, uh, use that. And if it goes, self, mana, stamina level under 10%. Whoops. Get rid of it. And then we'll just put that to equal, equal pacing there. There we go. Make it a bit more manageable, but in the meantime, you have stamina enough to make use out of it, and she's dead, which is excellent. Because what does it do again? It does, uh, yeah, 10% of remaining stamina. Honestly, the bit I'm most excited about, oh dear, sorry Anders. The bit I'm mostly, do you know, can you, yeah, you need to do that. The bit I'm most excited about with a uh, Berserk is use of those, like, activatable abilities, because they sound the coolest. There, when stuff like that happens, like, my stamina recharge, um, can I... Be done? Hello? Sebastian? There we go. What was that about in your mouth, Sebastian? So I heard what they said about Chantry Boys. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 51 per second, that is a good, that is a good axe. Avalyn, no wonder if that would suit you. 32 health, 31 attack, 60% threat generation, good for a tank. It's not as good as my sword, but still. Um, at least I don't think so, my city guard. Uh, city guard store four stars, so the woman's ire is that. Avalyn, you can't use it because your strength is too low. Your strength is always too low, I, need to, I really need to fix that. So there we go. That's that done. Or I don't think I got a journal entry. Maybe I need to loot her. Hello? Um. Oh dear. <laughs> Houston, I think we may have a glitch. Uh. Leashmaster Jess Varvel. And that was her, right? Okay, let's see if we can cast about for her. Did she teleport at the very last second or something? No, I definitely looted her, and it didn't... Come. Aha! Good. This makes things better. Good work. Is that it? Because that would be a satisfying ending. There we go. <laughs> One more hideout down and none in low town, which would suit me, honestly. You know, warm-up's great and all, but maybe it's better if, like, um, there's some structure to it, because coming to this... Well, I guess, like, I get to edit through most of this anyway, so it was boring, I just edit it out. But yeah, it has made for a fairly slow start to the session, which is also kind of fine. I'm not in a hurry or anything. Now we can get on with some different things. I want to back to low town. Um All right, let me just do the do the check. Ah, disorientated. Disorientated itself reduces an enemy's defense. I'll never do that. Um okay. So let's go into the area transition area, I guess. Limbo, I suppose you could talk, call it. And we will have a look. So I feel like I'm missing something. Maybe it's cuz this just took me so long in Acts 2 to get sorted that I feel like this should have taken longer, whereas breaking it up into two sessions has made it kind of fly by, but we also haven't done the thing in low town yet. That's probably another thing which makes me feel a bit weird about it. So... All right, docks, check. High town, check. Low town, not check. Dark town, let's go to dark town and have another cast for enemies there.
and then we'll head back to Lotel and do another uh, another brief sweep. What have I done now? You look like you wish to scold me. I just can't fathom why you're still in Kirkwall. For six years you've been claiming you'll retake your parents' lands. You're smart. You'd be a capable ruler. What are you waiting for? I don't know if it's the right thing to do. Do we ever get to know that? It's a worthy choice, Sebastian, but six years of indecision? <laughs> What have you been doing? Ah, there is another problem with uh, religion, I suppose. In general. Uh, religion... can mean that you surrender the decisions that you make to a higher power. You know? You stop deciding whether something is right and wrong. You rely on the book or the, the priest or the prophets to tell you. And as a result of that... I mean, your brain's a muscle or whatever. It's a kind of muscle goes unused, don't flex those muscles, your decision making ability is going to suffer. Maybe this is what's happening to you, Sebastian? Maybe not, but it's definitely something which is a thing. Never really thought of that. And it's not just religion either, like, um, you can, uh, you can rely on, like, a show or celebrity or basically just any anybody that you respect. Because there comes a point, right? Um, this is, this is, I think, a human condition. It's like the alpha status. It's like you surrender decision-making to a leader, and that could be, like, your sergeant in the army, or a celebrity that you admire that you think is doing good things, and therefore whatever they say is kind of right or wrong, there's a pretty good chance you're going to agree with them because you trust that person. There's nothing necessarily wrong with any of these things, but it is worth saying that your moral decision-making will suffer if you surrender moral decisions to somebody else. We'll turn. The Madam of the Blooming Rose has a special service that she'll offer only to the most loyal of customers. You know, I gotta say, I'm curious about that 50 silver service. Somebody will pretend to like you for an hour, and there's an option for me to pay for it? <laughs> what would that scene be? I'm not gonna do it because it's not really in Ian's style to go to a brothel. But... I don't know, I'm curious. That'd be fun. One day I might, like, uh, between sessions, I might just save the game and go in and, like, pay for all the services just to see what it's at. To have a bit of an out-of-character session, which is not something I tend to do, like, ever. Um, even between sessions, I feel the need to, like, keep uh, whatever Ian is doing consistent. Even, like, wandering around adjusting people's tactics and doing the shopping in between sessions, that's canonical. That's something which Ian is actually doing. So I always hesitate to break character in that way. God damn it. Ah! <laughs> I can scare the crap out of me. God. But I never found that in a million years. So he didn't have anything. <laughs> My search continues. Okay. Um, that was weird. Alright, keep an eye out for that. A weak follower of she. I think that was who I was fighting before, right? Well, maybe now that I've killed him, the area will recycle and spawn some new encounters. Maybe that is indeed what was happening. Her. Okay, cut through this. Oh, 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 yes, the villain's favorite spot. Here we go, this is more than I was expecting. There's another mage there, isn't there? No, it's just an archer. Finally, directions to the followers of Shebase. She wills and we follow. That is all that must be known. Protect the lair from the others of Lowtown, a follower of She. A cult with no mage? There's no mages in these groups. Kind of unusual. 
It sort of makes sense that the, uh, the underground groups in this act will have mages, because mages have become the new sort of, like, mega oppressed. I forget what the predominant sort of, um, bandits were, uh, but they could be indicative of, like, what's going on. For example, there were Ferelden's, um, well, dog lords in, uh, Lowtown here, in Acts 2. Which may well be, I mean, like, Mabari are Ferelden things, like they're Ferelden cultural implement. It's not out of the question that dogs are raised here in uh, the Free Marches uh, for these bandits, but more likely they were Ferelden downcast who turned to crime. And the Ferelden were indeed downtrodden. It wasn't a major theme of the act or anything like that, but apparently their lot is better now. I nipped into a shop um, whilst between sessions. You know the, uh, the free healthcare base? Um, whoa, 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 it's a sheep. This is unexpected. You're not going to teleport, are you? Just silencer. I think that works. I could use some backup here. Um, Hands, if you wouldn't mind. Okay, now that I think that's worth doing. In, uh, if you wouldn't mind... Just draw the threat in. I know you have it already, but it's good to reinforce it. So she's silenced, but I'm not sure if that's taken. She doesn't look like she's doing anything. Just keep going. The Berserk is actually working out quite well at the moment. Uh, so how are my team doing back there? Ian's probably the one with the lowest health at the moment. There's the followers of she, and we've got... Uh, Anders back there, Aveline, and probably Sebastian kicking about somewhere. There he is. So the three of them back there should be absolutely fine. Let's just get Aveline drawing the threat in. Uh, okay. Drew the threat and then just went that way. But she's dead now, so we should be should be okay. That makes sense. A demon cult actually ties back to the mage thing quite nicely as well. An apostate of some kind, or an underground mage, obviously tear, tore the veil, uh, let that demon in, and then died. Probably by the hands of that demon. And she has been working her machinations to build a cult ever since. Dangerous stuff. But ain't it telling? Look. Uh, a loose demon, free in Kirkwall. Only as dangerous as any number of these other kind of like mini cults that we've been taking down all these all these years. All right, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're gonna get you some help, Anders. Just give me a move. Uh, well, when I say help, I mean we're just gonna put you out of the way and hope that the enemies forget about you. There we go. You hide behind the box, buddy. What's Ian doing? That's nobody over there. Are we good? Help! Oh, Ow! Shit! Fuck assassins! <laughs> Truly, fuck assassins! There you go. Sorry about that, Anders. And we're done. Kind of want. Hanker and the moderate dreams of her followers are defeated. Only stragglers won't stop believing. Well, they gotta hold on to that feeling. Cool. Well, there we go. We are like 50 minutes in and that's our start. Ooh. <gasps> nice shield. Ooh. Hand of the... What? The dusters have a saying. Blood or coin, the carter always gets his cut. When Barat was running Dust Town, he took the saying literally. He commissioned a pair of wicked blades made by Smithhouse Dural. Barat gave one to his right hand, Jarvia, and the other to his second, Karshal. So that whatever hand of the carter you got, it would be holding a big sodding knife. Very dwarven. Barat wasn't exactly a poet. Jarvia was killed in Dust Town uh, during the messy succession. Uh, I think I remember Jarvia from Dragon Age Origins. And the Karshal turned all of Orzammar upside down looking for a blade. Some duster struck gold finding that blade and must have been clever enough to sell it right away. Stone only knows what Karshal would do to the luckless Claude who has it when he finds it. From the account of Kala, a castless of Orzammar. Well, that's all very well and good. We don't have a knife wielder at the moment. More's the pity. Uh, Lord Bearing's Wall. Oh, that, I mean, that is cool. 
It's a bit of a toss-up between this and my current shield. Let me just do the... So, in terms of defense, I can kind of ignore that. Like, it, it's 19 less armor, which isn't huge. The Lord Bearing's Wall gives me more attack. It gives me a big boost to defense. Um, the Volcanic Shield gives me fire damage, which I am wielding. But, like, actually hitting enemies isn't my problem, because, look, I've got, like, a 92% hit rate on normal enemies. Should be fine with that. Hmm. They're both five star. Maybe it doesn't matter. I don't know. Um... I guess we'll stick with the uh, with the volcanic shield for now. I mean, Avalon, you can you can wield that, but I think yeah, shield and knight herself is is more for you anyway. Now you can finally bloody wield it. Um, is this two-handed? Yes, it is. Lord Bearing's Wall. Interesting. See what sort of um upgrade that gets. For now, I'll stick with the volcanic shield. I kind of like round shields better than the square ones anyway. I'm not sure, like, tactically what the difference is. I imagine, like, okay, so you smack the side of a shield, right? The, uh, the edge of a shield. Uh, as a square shield, it might catch. Or slide off to one side. Um, I suppose a round shield would be more dangerous in that way because it's gonna slide le it's not gonna slide as far. Um, but that one has points on the end, which means that it may actually catch. It may catch a sword, but it's probably fairly easy to just withdraw it from there. You know, I know so little bit of logistics of fighting that I'm really talking about my arse here, so never mind. So what do you guys think of this new armor, huh? Pretty cool. I'm talking to both NPCs and you, the audience. I kind of like it. I even kind of like it with Volcanic Shield. So that plume, and when I turn this way, it looks a bit dopey. Um, who do I remind me of a, a Wallace and Gromit character because of the shape of the head. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I'm getting used to it from the front. It looks amazing. Right, okay, so we're now done this. Uh, so we're at 52. Just, just, whoop, hang on, marking there. There's a good spot to end an episode. And there we go. I think, uh, I don't think we do have any stragglers. So I'm just going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Not Well, the, no, we're good, we're good just be obligatory at this point. Gather party and venture forth. Back to the Hawk Estate heals people injuries and let's find out what we're gonna do next.